Good day, one more fast squad. Well, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaden, and I upload a trip report every week. We're at Calgary Airport today. We're flying Air Canada 737 Max from here to Vancouver. I'm quite excited because I've not done Air Canada mainline before, as well as the 737 Max. So now, without further ado, let's go in and check in. Our flight today to Vancouver is a domestic flight, so we're at the domestic section of Calgary Airport. They've also got a USA departure section, as well as a international section. At this time of the day, Calgary International Airport domestic area is quite quiet. Check-in was really quick and easy, and then I moved on to security. It took a while, the queue was really slow moving. I did notice through my travels, the security at Canadian airports always take a while. Air Canada operates one Maple Leaf Lounge at Calgary Airport. It's located near the domestic gates, so if you're flying internationally, you will have to leave the lounge earlier to get to your gate. Today I got in with my Virgin Australia Gold status. Virgin and Air Canada are partner airlines. You'd also be able to get in with your Star Alliance Gold status. This is my second time in a Air Canada lounge. Last time I was at Heathrow Airport. The Maple Leaf Lounges at Calgary and Heathrow have very similar vibes and decor. At the Calgary Lounge, you're directly looking over the domestic side of the tarmac. That's our aircraft to Vancouver, by the way. It's still breakfast at the moment, and the lounge does offer very good hot and cold breakfast. They're currently offering cooked order egg benedicts, and they look really good. At the bar, you can order alcoholic beverages, as well as barista coffee. From the buffet, I got a veggie egg benedict, french toast, and two hash browns. From the bar, I got an oat latte. There are shower rooms available in this lounge, but I didn't check them out. There is, however, a cahook in the toilet cubicle. Before long, it's time to head to our gate, number 50, for our flight to Vancouver. It's a 30 second walk to that gate. So here's our Max, delivered to Air Canada back in January 2019. It's a four year old Air Canada Boeing 737 Max 8, Charlie Golf Echo Hotel India. Hello, how are you? Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Hi. We'll wait again to the seat in front of you, the carry-on item. Maybe stood, air, comfortable, and at l'heure. Welcome aboard Air Canada Max 8. Our seat today is 31A, a standard window seat towards the back of the plane. I'll now quickly go through the seat features with you guys. So there's no cut hook, there's a touchscreen TV, you can adjust the position, and underneath you can find a headphone jack and USB port. You've got a tiny tray table here. I suppose on any Max 8 flight you won't get a full meal, hence the smaller table. But then I don't know what you would do with your laptop. You've got a regular seat pocket. Your leg room is fairly standard at 30 inches. Here you'll find a USB port and universal power socket to share with your neighbour. Every seat comes with a soft adjustable headrest. Lastly, there's not much you can do with the seat width on a 737, but on this particular plane, it's actually a bit wider. See how the seat cushion literally touches the wall.
Now that we're in the air, I'll quickly go through the in-flight entertainment. Wi-Fi is only available on selected flights. Unfortunately, this flight today is excluded. I reckon Air Canada does offer a very great and extensive selection of entertainment. There are numerous news articles from the BBC, but you can't watch it live. The flight map is interactive. You can zoom in and zoom out to wherever you want. For this particular aircraft, Charlie Gulf, Echo Hotel India, it's already doing its third flight today. In the morning, it already did a Calgary to Vancouver return. After we get off in Vancouver, it's going to do Edmonton return and then a overnight to Toronto. There's in-flight service on this flight. Snacks, water, coffee, tea and a range of soft drinks are complimentary. You can also browse through the bistro menu that you'll find in a seat pocket for on-demand offering. Interestingly, they sell leftover meals from business class for 18 Canadian dollars. For onboard payment, you can do MasterCard, Visa or Amex. No cash, unfortunately. So the service started 25 minutes after takeoff. So the crew managed to give the snacks to everybody as well as a cup of water. However, for the beverages like soft drinks and coffee and tea, they've only managed to serve half of the plane. Absolutely absurd. So I was really curious why on a flight like Sydney to Melbourne they could manage to serve food and drinks, but on this flight they can't. After some research, I learned that in Canada, cabin crew and passengers get the same seatbelt sign. See, in Australia, cabin crew can unfasten their seatbelts about 10 minutes within takeoff and begin the meal service. In Canada, it takes about 20 to 25 minutes, so they lose a lot of service time, and that's due to the regulation set up by the Canadian Aviation Authority. So now we've already started our descent into Vancouver and I'll quickly conclude this trip with Air Canada right here right now. Our journey today started at Calgary International Airport. The Maple Leaf Lounge there is really nice, great hammock view and great food. Once on board, you can feel how new the Air Canada Max 8 is. If I were to compare the seat to Qantas or Virgin Australia 737, they all got similar legroom, but Air Canada has newer TV, more power supply and there's more curvature to your seat back. However, Qantas and Virgin have double seat back padding, Air Canada don't. So I reckon Air Canada, the moment you sit down is more comfortable due to the seat back curvature, but without the double seat back padding, your back might be a bit sore after a few hours. That being said, this flight is only an hour long, so it's perfectly fine. But then this aircraft do go a long distance, like Heathrow Airport to Halifax, which has a flight duration of seven hours. Now for the meal service, it's unfortunate that in Canada they have regulation that impact the in-flight service. Nonetheless, the cabin crew were really friendly, did all they could. Now for your information, today I pay $83 for this one-way flight in basic economy from Calgary to Vancouver. The 737 MAX, A319 and A320 operate this route. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment and share. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out on a true report that I upload every single week. You can keep up to date with me via my social media platforms like Facebook, Snapchat, Be Real, and TikTok. And finally, for those who want to make direct impacts into funding my flights, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. Please check out the links in the description if you're interested. Thank you so much. Keep watching till the end for a Vancouver vlog. Bye bye.
options may now be used. Before leaving the aircraft, please check to ensure you have all of your electronic devices. If you have a connecting flight, please refer to screen inside the terminal or consult with our colleagues on the ground. Thank you for choosing Air Canada, member of Star Alliance for your travels today. We hope you had a pleasant flight and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bienvenue à Vancouver, il est 11h53 du matin, heure locale. Vous prions de rester assis avec votre ceinture de sécurité bouclée et vos bagages rangés jusqu'à ce que la quantité de ceinture soit éteinte. Il est interdit de fumer. Vous pouvez vérifier le statut de votre vol et trouver des informations concernant la barrière de votre vol de correspondance à l'aide de l'application mobile d'Air Canada ou en visitant aircanada.com. L'utilisation de fonctions de réception et de transmission des appareils mobiles est maintenant permise. Avant de quitter l'appareil, vous vous assurer d'avoir en votre possession tous vos appareils électroniques. Si vous devez prendre un vol de correspondance, je vais continuer l'écran dans les regards ou adressez-vous à l'un de nos collègues au sol. Merci d'avoir choisi un Canada membre du réseau Star Alliance. Pour voyager aujourd'hui, nous espérons que votre vol est assez grave et souhaitons vous revoir bientôt. So this time round in Vancouver, it's just a overnight transit. Tomorrow I'm going to Penang, Malaysia with United Airlines and Scoot. I'm going to spend my night at the Hilton Vancouver Airport. There's a shuttle from the terminal every half an hour. Hello, welcome to Hilton Vancouver Airport. So I've got an upgrade to One King Bed Suite, which is sweet. And holy moly, it's massive. I'm going to walk back to the front door. Uh, to start my tour. So, front door. As you come in, turn right, you'll have your lavatory. It's, it's not small, but compared to the room itself, it's quite comparatively smaller. And what a shame there's no bathtub, but the shower space looks perfectly fine. And then here's the living room. You've got working desk. I'm going to do my editing in a while. So this stop over, I'm not doing much in Vancouver, but editing and grocery shopping. I love doing grocery shopping before I fly home. Um, yeah, you've got sofa and then coffee, tea, microwave. Uh, you've got, I think, wardrobe. Yeah, wardrobe and luggage rack in there. And that's my bedroom. And you've got your TV here as well, and more wardrobe, I suppose. Damn, I wish I was here longer. I'm, I'm, I'm only going to be here for 16 hours, I think. Yeah, it's very nice. So that's my outfit to go for grocery shopping. So it's now about 6 p.m. I just finished editing my Cantonese video on Cafe Hong Kong to Melbourne. Now I'm gonna go downstairs across the road. There's a Hong Kong restaurant. I'm gonna get some delicious food. So I just got back to the hotel and that's my dinner from the Hong Kong restaurant. That's from the reception for Diamond members. So here's my dinner and North America, your portion sizes is out of control. Like this is too much rice, my friend. And then you've got curry, which is even like the bowl's taller. Hong Kong lemon tea and those snacks from the reception. So I've not had this for two weeks because I've been traveling for two weeks and takeaway as well, I've missed takeaway. Mm. 
Once again, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed and a big shout out to all my patrons and YouTube members who helped to make my travel possible. Thank you and see you next week. Bye bye. It is still recommended to wear one during a flight today. Please ensure your seat back and tray table are upright and your seat belt is fastened. Aisles and exits must be free of all baggage. Larger electronic devices such as laptop computers must be installed.